Hey guys, I'm Julia from This Model Eats A Lot and I'm here in beautiful Marseille right by the port. The views are stunning. Now, I'm really honoured to eat at this amazing restaurant. It's called Un Table au Sud, which in French means Table of the South. So the interesting thing about Un Pablo Au Sud is that it features Michelin star's youngest chef by the name of Turak Ludovic. So he's only 28, which makes him very talented and very successful from a young age. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the hype is all about. Here we have a cauliflower panna cotta with tomato juice and a sal pico of vegetables. Now sal pico is a word of describing the way that the vegetables have been cut, which is very, very thin. I can't even describe this. It's the slightest tinge of tomato. You have to have a very refined palate to pick up on it. It's incredible. I seem to be getting leaves in a lot of things lately. Mm, oh. You know, that is a great meal. <laughs> you know why? Because it kept me wanting more and it kept my palate interested and in the end the leaf gave a little bit of uh, sort of mintiness and mentholness that really kind of hit you at the end and wakes your palate up. Perfect, thank you. So here we have John Dory and Coriander with Peach Gazpacho. Now the interesting thing is <laughs> Everyone wants to be on the show. Now the interesting thing is about these peaches, they're flat. So let's see the kind of flavor they'll have. I almost don't want to ruin it. Here we go. Ready? So that peach gazpacho hits you immediately. It's almost a refined sweetness. It's not overwhelming. And then you've got the nuttiness of the fish, the John Dory, offset by the strength of the radish. So again, I see that they've done the vegetables in the same way, salpico, which is very thin. And then this black bit here, it adds a little bit of smokiness to the whole thing. You know, eventually the peach gets a little bit sour, which always makes it exciting for a dish. I think if a dish tastes the same bite after bite, you eventually lose interest. Whereas if something keeps you excited, you know, with different flavors on every bite, that is something that is truly three-dimensional and it appeals to every sense of the palate. So here we have the Mekra with mashed potatoes, fresh herbs and a whole lot of sea foam. Now Mekra is actually from the same family as sea bass and that's my favourite fish in the world so I'm pretty sure I like it. Oh crispy skin, let me get some of that sea foam on. I'm going to go for a second bite before I tell you what I think. I don't know how you'd eat this on a first date. <laughs> All those herbs. I feel like Megra is the grown-up version of sea bass. So interestingly enough, I didn't imagine this dish to have much heat and definitely those first few bites didn't betray any hint of spice. But now as I'm getting more and more into the dish, I'm sort of getting a little bit of the heat on the back of my throat which I think is interesting because the flavours almost decant very slowly like you know like a bottle of wine. I think this is a really exciting dish because it reveals itself to you with each bite. So here we have a dessert featuring apricot, tarragon and something called fuel team pastry which is basically a biscuit base and of course we have some sorbet which is melting so I'd better get to it. I'm really liking the addition of tarragon to the dish. I think it'll add an interesting element to it and probably break up the sweetness a little bit. It's an amazing dessert. 
and I don't even really like apricot that much. <laughs> So what I usually find when a dish has a particular ingredient three ways that it's quite overwhelming with this I think they've really cleverly integrated the use of the biscuit to be the start with those nuances of the apricot sort of coming through in different ways so it all doesn't seem like a big sort of hit of apricot coming at you I mean they've worked really hard to bring different elements to the apricot whether it's in the sorbet so you're not getting just one flavor of apricot. You're getting sort of a layer of different flavors um, and also different textures and temperatures, which I think really affects the flavor. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like the series, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great week and don't forget to eat a lot.